To start this problem, the first thing I want to look at is if NH4Cl is an acid, base, or salt. It's a salt, I know that, because it's not an acid or base, um, but also because NH4 is a polyatomic ion bonded to a nonmetal. Um, because it's a salt, I'm doing hydrolysis, my first step is to break that salt down into its ions. When we're dissociating salts, we use single arrows, which is going to help us later because we can use a ratio to find moles or molarity of different components of that reaction. Um, from here, I still need to decide if it's going to be acidic, basic, or neutral. So I take my two ions and I test them against water. The positive ion will steal the negative part of water, the hydroxide, releasing H+. The negative ion will steal the positive part of water, releasing OH-. I notice that this is a strong acid. Therefore, strong acids won't form because they dissociate completely. This reaction won't happen. This is not strong, so this reaction will happen. Releasing H+, plus, which tells me I know I'm doing an acid problem. Using the ion that helped me figure out it was acidic. So now I'm doing a weak acid problem using NH4+. Plus. Dissociate the weak acid using equilibrium arrows. One H falls off, leaving everything else left over. Ice chart, zero plus X, X. 0 plus x, x, minus x, but I need a value for the NH4 plus molarity. This whole chart is in molarity. So to find what value goes here, I look back at the question. I'm given grams, and I'm given volume. Grams can get me moles, and then volume can get me molarity, but it'll be of the NH4Cl, because that's what I have the grams of. Grams of NH4Cl equals moles of NH4Cl times molecular weight of NH4Cl. That finds me my moles of NH4Cl, 3.187. I then can find the molarity, still of NH4Cl, using the volume in liters, 0.32. Now, that's the molarity of my salt, not the molarity of my NH4. However, because the salt dissociates with a single arrow, I can use a ratio to go from the molarity of this to the molarity of that. Because they both have coefficients of 1, the salt and the ion that I care about, 1 and 1, it's a 1 to 1 ratio. Therefore, this is actually the molarity of my NH4 because of 1 to 1. And then I can keep going with my ice chart. Um, the x value is so small compared to the initial value that we just say it's 0.32 at the end. I can set up a Ka products over reactants. The Ka value that I use is going to be for NH4 plus because that's the weak acid that I dissociated. It has a value of 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So I solve for x. And get 1.34 times 10 to the negative fifth. My x value is my h plus value. My ice chart is here to remind me of that. So when I want to find the pH, I take the negative log of that value. And I get 4.87.